Hey guys, how you doing? It's uh, Friday afternoon and as you can see all the snow has melted and it's quite warm for once so we're gonna we're going down to the farm and we're gonna wash this because it's covered in salt and muck from running around on the roads and we're gonna give the 180 a quick wash and then I'm gonna put it on the fertilizer spreader. I had made, meant to make a video last week about putting the fertiliser spreader on the, the tractor, however when I got it washed off I uh, discovered that one of the tyres had a split so we are going to get it just fixed, like gated for now uh, but I put a patch on the inside however when we called them up and I had a look at the other tyre it was split as well so the back two tyres were split so we didn't, we told them not to bother coming and we got two new tyres ordered for the tractor. So I had those put on yesterday uh, and now, now we're going to go down and put the fertiliser spreader on. So we'll, uh, we'll go down and do that. So you can see in here, hopefully it's not too dark, but we've got two new tyres on the back of the 180. Uh, they're the same size, got uh, six, the six fifties. Um, we went with BKT as they were a bit cheaper tyre. So this is a fertiliser spreader. It's a Cavernlin TL Geo Spread. Got it new last year. Uh, and absolutely amazing bit of kit. We really like it. Really good. Uh, just sorting it out now. Just it's got a like a leveler on the front. Just got to tilt it forwards a bit. Level on the back of the tractor, and then I've got to set the height. Had to look at the instruction manual before. I'm gonna have the. Couldn't remember how high it needs to be, but it needs to be 75 centimeters from the bottom of here, which, as you can see, is a lot higher. So we'll add a letter down some. <laughs> right, I've got the height set at about 70. Sorry, about 84, because. It needs to be from the bottom of here, it needs to be 75 centimetres above the crop. So I reckon if the, if the ray and the barley is about that tall, obviously you need to take that into consideration. And then obviously the trap that might sink down a little bit in places, it's still a little bit wet. So we'll just we'll leave about 84 centimetres. And then when I get into the field, I'll probably measure it. That's the front leveller which indicates when the spread is at the right level, which it's at, it should be zero for what we're doing. We've got the spreader on now, we'll, uh, we'll turn it on, see that everything's working. Fingers crossed it should be. Right, so everything seems to be all right on there. The weight does fluctuate a little bit, like by a kilo or two, but that's that's neither here nor there when we're spreading. So if I go onto that page and I press the little like GPS looking picture there, that shows us basically like the tractor and the spreader. So it, yes, it does say 25 meters down there, but it's there the sections there's 24 sections on it that 25 meters is for the zoom on here so if I tap on the trap there it zooms out to 50 meters away if I tap it again it goes into 10 meters so I normally run with it on that so there the individual sections it's one meter sections on the spreader so it's got 24 all the way across 
So the number three spool is going to have the headland, headland um, border spread on. So when I pull it down, you should see it flash up there. That means we're going to be spreading for the headland. So when I move around on this, you should see it. Uh, yeah, because it's not been on for a while, it's uh, it's tricked itself. So things are going backwards now, but all I do is I press that, and it goes the right way. So when I go backwards now, it should, yeah, because the spreader will shut itself off when it's uh, going backwards. There you go, you should be able to see it moving now. Speed's about right, 4K, yeah. Yep, it all seems to be set right. Uh, hopefully it stays dry-ish and we'll get some spread. Basically, we've got the spreader set now. I can't really do much until uh, until we get going in the field. So that should be the fertilizer spreader set up now. Um, we'll hopefully get on at the end of this week or the weekend. So until then, I'll see you later.